So, so he, he's, he's got this tremendous, tremendously successful run as governor, becomes prominent on the national political scene and runs for president, gets nominated. And he's in this election and he's got the New York Yankees behind him and Babe Ruth, you know, on this train ride home from the World Series. I said this over to the kids and, you know, just a fascinating story of the Babe campaigning for him on this train ride, and, and yet he gets rushed in the election. And, and I, I saw somewhere where it was, they talk about the three Ps, prosperity, prejudice, and prohibition that did him in. Is, is, is that your assessment? Is, is that? No, no, it really isn't. Um, good, good. Uh, it, the election, more than anything, was about prejudice. Uh, now, that includes a whole stepladder full of uh, varieties. Foremost was the anti-Catholic vote. Um, it, I, I cannot underestimate how strong the anti-Catholic vote was. Um, they took pictures, actually pictures, I forget if it was the Lincoln or the Holland Tunnel between New York and New Jersey, and they said, and they, and they actually circulated this, and the caption was, this is the secret tunnel being built right now between Rome and Washington, which, by the way, we just recently, a few years ago, built the, the channel, you know, between just the English Channel, let alone across the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, be that aside, in 1928, this is the secret tunnel being built right now between Rome, secret, between Rome and Washington to bring the Pope over, because you know that if a Catholic gets elected, the Pope's going to run the country. The Pope's just going to, you just know the Pope's going to run the country. Um, the leading political cartoon, it was on sticky paper, where you'd, li you'd lick it and you'd paste it up, was, it was a cabinet meeting, Sal Smith is elected president, you get the cabinet room, and you can see the, link, the uh, Washington Monument sticking up through the window, and the head of the table is the, and it's all priests and monsignors around there, and um, Al is off in the corner in a bellboy's outfit, serving them, and he's carrying a jug of whiskey. Okay, it, 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 incredibly demeaning things. Um, it, it, uh, Francis Perkins was in Maryland. Maryland's the, the original Catholic colony of the 13. And she said, I've never seen anything like this. It was like poison gas had come over us. It, it was just horrible. Now, the problem was Al played into just every paranoia, prejudicial view you could. First of all, he was Catholic. Secondly, okay, let's rank him. Secondly, after that, he was a winner of prohibition. It was very powerful. Um, one historian says that that was really the issue. I don't agree with that. She actually argues that FDR in 32 should have run on an anti-prohibition plank instead of running on ending the Great Depression, which I think is madness. Um, but, it, it, and also keep in mind, it, it, in 28 by 33, it's going to be repealed. So the repeal element was building, but that's also very powerful. It was definitely a wet. He was definitely a drinker. There's no question about it. Um, and that was a major issue. Um, but, but you can go down the list. Um, he was of immigrant background. We know from our own era just how potent that is. Um, he identified himself. His father was actually um, German uh, Italian, but his mother raised him, so he definitely identified himself as Irish. But he was definitely uh, a um, uh, from immigrant background. Do you want an immigrant president? That's not an American. Um, and, and in addition, and again, I don't want to underestimate this. He was a New Yorker. Um, uh, New York anti-New York prejudice is is just widespread.